Welcome, my name is Ron Shaw, and I'll be your video presenter for this little short video on how to filter telnet and SSH traffic using a access control list. Now, one of the major tasks of all network administrators is, is to make sure that they provide proper security on their uh, routers, uh, switches, and other uh, networking devices within the topology or their network. Now, uh, by using just basic configurations on a Cisco switch, um, doesn't lend to a very secure router. So, one way I can provide another level of security on my VTY uh, or my SSH uh, ports on my Cisco devices is to create an uh, access control list which only allows certain devices to remotely connect to the router or switch and connect. So. What we're going to do is, let me first show you our topology here. As you can see in our screen here, I've got my host right here, which is going to be the PC that we're going to allow to have access, and then we're going to block the remaining of the network. So, my host's IP address is 192.168.1.2. We'll begin by creating an access list, like I said, to only allow this particular host or my management host to connect to my Cisco router. Now, let's go ahead and uh, move to the uh, hyper terminal and let's look at our router and see how we've currently got it configured. As you can see, I've already um, have uh, logged into my router and I'm setting in the uh, privilege exact mode. So we'll very quickly issue the show run to verify some of our settings and to look to see if we have any access list already configured. As we go through here uh, and going through the things, I can see I have an extended IP access list or a numbered uh, extended IP access list configured. What we're going to use is we're going to use a standard ACL. Now, and a standard ACL is only going to filter based on the source. <coughs> So, first thing we'll do is uh, go in and get in the uh, uh, global configuration mode and create our access list. So, from here, we're going to create an access list, and we've got to give it a number. Now, for standard numbered IP access list, the numbers will be anywhere from 1 to 99. So, since I'm not using number 1, I'll use it. Now, the next thing is, we'll look at here, I have to give it a, a statement of whether permit or to not. So what we want to do is we're going to permit. Next thing is going to be here is I got a couple of choices here. I can say any, I can say a particular host, or I can do a match of addresses. Now, what we're going to do is I'm going to use the keyword host and I'm going to plug in the IP address of my host. Now, I'll sit there and do another access list statement. where I'm going to deny any other host here. So basically what this statement is, I'm going to deny any other uh, attempts for to make a uh, um, telnet session to my router. So, uh, and the reason why we're doing this, there's the implied uh, deny any at all at the end of all access lists. Now, next thing i got to do is i got to move to my line VTY and what we're going to do is apply this uh, access list to the interface uh, for the VTY. Now with this we're going to use a special command. It's going to be called access class. Then from here remember I'm going to have to define my number so remember we use number one and from here we got a couple of choices either in or out. Now since we are going to be telnetting or using SSH coming into the router we'll sit there and say in. Now, there will be special cases on using the out. Now, out, we'll have to remember. If we use the out, we're going to uh, create an access list based on the destination of where that uh, access or where that um, host is trying to go to. So it's kind of it's a weird rule on how that works, and I'll explain that in um, other videos. But for right now, we're just going to use a N. Now, what I'll do is go back and verify my configurations and make sure everything is right. So we'll go in here. As we can see, I have my access list 1, permit the host, and then I've told it to deny any other host attempting to make any type of telnet connection. And then I went to my interface and validated it. So, 
Now let's go ahead and test it. Well, let me go ahead and minimize my screens here. We'll set here and we'll issue and get a command prompt and I will tell net to my router. Let's see, uh, my router's IP address is 192.168.1.1. Now I've been uh, asked for a password, so in here I'm going to supply the password. From here I'll set there and um, use the enabled password. Everything looks good. So let's exit out of this. Now let's validate to make sure the access list is working. So from here now, I will change my IP address to something other than the 192.168.1. So let's say, uh, let's make it a 3. Now, if everything goes right, when I attempt to make a um, connection to the um, router, yeah, I should get a reject. So let's go in here and get it in there, attempting to connect. And now it's going to sit there after a few seconds and said fail. So now I validated and verified that my uh, access control list is working properly. All right, I'd like to thank you for visiting uh, this video and viewing it and hope to see you again in the future. Thank you and have a great day.